So as quite a few people pointed out, I completely and totally, um, I don't even want to say I forgot Taurus because honestly it, it was so, Taurus was so not on my radar that I don't feel like it was an accident, but I'm going to focus specifically on Taurus energies now. Just an FYI, you guys, this is an adjunct to the weekend romance because Taurus was not represented. It was not represented in the YouTube video and it wasn't represented in the extended either. So I just, there was, su it, there was such an absence of it. I don't think it was just that I forgot, but I am going to, in other words, I don't know if there was an actual message, but I'm going to dig. I'm sure we'll get a message for Taurus, absolutely. And um, I want to clarify, in the YouTube video, there are two Libra readings. That was pointed out to me too. And I knew when I uploaded this that there were two, that there were two Libra readings. Remember, that wasn't a live. The Weekend Romance isn't a live, just like this video isn't live. So it wasn't a mistake. When I upload it, I have a choice. I can delete it out. I saw that video. I watched it. I knew during the second, the, because the, the second Libra reading was the last reading of the YouTube weekend romance. And I said to myself, I did do a Libra. I did. But I still needed to do that second Libra. So both of those messages had to come out for Libra. And they are both very congruent and fluent with the message that came out over on the extended. So they are absolutely both supposed to be for Libra. If you are Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, watch those because they, both of them, because they definitely pertain to your weekend romance and the re romance vibes over these next two or three days. That is an absolute, I am certain about that. You know why I'm certain? I want to share the story with you guys. Last night, I had a dream. I had a dream about somebody that I know absolutely is a Libra. I know he's a Libra. And I don't dream about this person. He's never come in my dreams before. But he was so prevalent in my dreams. And I remember waking up thinking, why was I dreaming about that person? I don't understand. It was just the energies for Libra, the level of passion and the level of love to have it permeate my dreams. Absolutely, Libra, you were supposed to get those two weekend romance readings. Absolutely. Now, this video, which I'm calling the Taurus adjunct, is for your weekend romance, Taurus. This is your energy. I'm going to do, unlike everybody, else who has to go over to over to get to Vimeo to get the extended I am because I left you out though I, I'm hesitant to say it and it's not because I don't like to take responsibility for my actions that's not true when I'm wrong I will absolutely say I'm wrong I really feel like there was a reason why Taurus was not mentioned because I it was it was consistent I didn't even think it's almost like Taurus was really non-existent during the weekend romance during the YouTube video and then over on the uh, vi uh, over on the extended as well. I it was just it was just it was just right almost. And so I don't think I'm doing anything wrong or digging into a place where I shouldn't. But you know because um, but I there, there just something was correct about this process and I don't I don't know what it is yet. But I do have faith. So. The, the first card up, let me, let me give it a shuffle, <laughs> but I don't even want to give it a shuffle. Um, I'm going to give it a shuffle, but I'm going to keep this card at the side. I don't want to even tell you guys yet. So this is for Taurus. General energies, you'll get the general energies here, and then you'll also get the extended included here for you. This is general energies for Taurus. General energies for Taurus. General energies for Taurus in the weekend of November. General romance energies for the zodiac sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising for the weekend of November 2nd to the 4th of 2019. Sun, Moon, and Rising, Taurus. Weekend romance, November 2nd through the 4th of 2019. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I want to do three. One more. Okay, I want to do. I want to do one more. One more zodiacs. 
These cards have been out of this world. I'm, I'm serious, Taurus. I'm just out of this world. And I don't know, as I speak to you, as I speak picking up the cards, I don't know how other, uh, other, every single reader, I know this, every single reader has a unique connection with their cards. I will say this to you. The way my cards behave when I shuffle and as they come out, to me, are part of the language, are part of the message. They, that matters as much to me as the meaning of the card itself. The fact that the cards are all over the place is already telling me maybe just maybe what's going on with Taurus. I know what you want to hear. That's why these two cards popped out. I have two cards popped out. Let me see. These are the two cards that came out. This card and this card. This was the card that was sitting right at the deck as I opened up the deck. And I have this feeling, Taurus, I know this is what you want to hear, that new love is coming in. And to a certain degree, I think it's true. I just don't think it's coming in this weekend. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. This tells me that there ha this has to do with faith. Faith and waiting. It's almost like you have love in your sights. It is there, it is in your life, but it is not, it's just not there yet. It's just not there yet. And it's telling me to have faith, have faith, have faith. Because if you go to the Taurus extended for the week ahead, I'm pretty sure that it was pretty good for love and romance for Taurus this week. So there is something that is in the works. I know you want to hear it's coming to you now. That is not what I can tell you. There is a sense of, there is a sense of a little bit of um, rushing things. So don't rush things when it comes to your long-term romance or when it comes to new romance. Please, please, please don't rush things. Taurus energy, the energy for Taurus, November 2nd through the 4th. Love and romance for Taurus, the zodiac sign, sun, moon, and rising, or any other, any other placement for Taurus, romance for November 2nd through the 4th of 2019, romance for Taurus, sun, moon, rising, romance, November 2nd through the 14th of 2019, November 2nd through the 14th of 2019. Communication is key. Okay. So Taurus, this is, this energy is telling me that you are going to have to be the one to make, to be the communicator, that talking to somebody Especially if you're in a long-term relationship, not rushing things, but taking time to get to know them. I think that communication is key is not even telling me you need to speak. Communication is key is telling me you need to focus more on communication. You need to amp it up. Overall, listen. I, I think in terms of communication for you, because this is a new moon. I'm not making this up. That's what the card says. New moons are receptive, right? And what's the receptive part of communication? Listening. So Taurus, I want you to listen and have patience through this weekend. Have patience with your partner or have patience for that new love coming in and listen, 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 listen with your whole heart. Listen to what people are saying, not only about you, but just around you. Listen to the vibe. You are ruled by Venus, the planet of love. And this is a lovely time for Venus, as surprising as it sounds. This is actually a lovely, lovely time for Venus right now in terms of its astrological placements. So please understand that, that, that I do believe love is coming into you. But there has, there's an aspect of being able to receive, being able to hear and being able to believe in your worth so that you can understand and believe how people feel you are worth worth it to them. 
I think that that is an aspect of this whole sort of, um, this whole sort of cycle that you're in is first comes self-love and faith. And if you can have faith in the concept of love and you can have faith in that love is coming in, that love is maybe in your life already, then love is going to come into you. It's going to know that you're ready for it. And I do believe that you are ready to receive love. I do believe that love is literally, see, she's catching a falling star, but it's not in her hand yet. Okay? So Taurus that are waiting on new love, it's not that much longer. Look at this. It's not that much longer. You are going to be on the receiving end of new love. Please have faith. That is the message that's coming through for you loud and clear. Now, in the extended reading, I pulled my spirit animal oracle and I pulled a fairy's, um, a fairy's, a fairy oracle card, which is really great insight into the human condition. And I love them. And then I clarified with tarot. So that's what I'm going to do now. That's what I'm going to do now. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus energy for love and romance. Clarify, extend. Extend this reading, please, for Taurus romance. Extend, elaborate. Taurus romance, November 4th, 2nd through the 4th of 2019. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Set healthy boundaries. Set healthy boundaries. This is a very earth energy. It's a very grounded energy. It is a very you energy. It's very gentle. You can see the gentleness in this creature's eyes. You can see the sweetness. You, just, you can see the love and you can see the kindness. Um, you can also see a little bit of eccentricity with the earrings in his ear. <laughs> but there is a gentleness. And beneath this, this gentleness is shrouded in armor. Why? So it won't get hurt. And I think, Taurus, for you, your defensiveness is um, your adherence to tradition and your need for stability. That's what defends your very tender heart from feeling like it's not going to be hurt. This is a sense of, this is a sense of um, healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries is something that I work on every single day. Healthy boundaries are not just learning to set boundaries, but learning to build the right boundaries because not everything needs the same boundary, right? We don't need a great wall of China everywhere, right? If our cells inside our body had something relative to a great wall of China around it, we'd all be dead because the cells, the walls to our cells, they have to allow things to flow in in between them. They have to be structured a specific way. There are different kinds of walls. There are different times to build them. There are times when we leave the gate open. There are times when we close the gate. There are walls that we have to build sometimes that have no gate at all. And there are other times when we have just sort of like that almost plastic mesh where air can go through and it's not a hard boundary, right? So it's what kind of boundaries do you have to set in love? One of those boundaries I think has to be first and foremost self-love. I think you have a lot of patience, um, but I just remembered something. The extended reading is not about you. It is about your partner. And so what this is telling me is the person that's coming into you or the person that you are with, there's a sense in them. There's a gentleness. There's a tenderness. There's there, This is a person who has such capacity for love, and I feel like you see it, and I feel like you know it, and I feel that you feel it and and they're such a lovely person but i don't think i think it's hidden is what i'm saying um what how how can i liken this to it's almost like a, a supermodel in walmart uh walking down the street in a messy bun no makeup wearing uh a hoodie from walmart like a a, a, a walmart, walmart sweatpants and a hoodie it, that's what this energy is. They're such a beautiful person, but it's not going to be obvious because they are shrouded in defensiveness. 
they are a defensive person. They are defensive in a shy way, in a way where they won't speak up. I, I'm, I'm like really feeling cancer coming through strong because this is almost like describing a Cancerian. Cancerians will not make the first move. They will not, sometimes they, they, sometimes even when they're in relationships with you, they don't feel comfortable sharing their feelings with you because they're not, they're afraid that you're not going to approve of what they feel and then you'll reject them. They are so, so, so defensive when it comes to being vulnerable. OMG. And so your patience and your steadfastness and your ability to have faith in a situation that may seem impossible is going to go very far this weekend. The person that you are dealing with is absolutely lovely, but they have a hard time setting boundaries. So inevitably they set boundaries that are too heavy and too thick. They're probably somebody with a heavy heart weighed down. They want to be loved so bad. They want to be released of the burden so bad. They want to love you so bad, but they just, they're, they're afraid and they're stuck right now. That's what I'm feeling. Your partner is stuck right now. They're stuck in their own defensiveness and their own fear of being hurt. They're working on setting healthy boundaries. So Taurus, 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 Taurus for November 2nd through the 4th of 2019. The zodiac sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising or other placements, if it makes sense to them. For November 14th, for November 2nd through the 4th of 2019, romance, 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 romance for Taurus, November 2nd through the 4th, 2019, Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, I just saw something flipped up, hold on. I don't think that's your card. I'm going to choose another one. Sun, moon, and rising. Sun, moon, and rising. Taurus, November 2nd through the 4th of 2019. Sun, moon, and rising. Sun, moon, and rising. Taurus. Sun, moon, and rising. Sun. There you go. This is it. Ah. Time and patience. It, this love, Taurus, I feel this love is going to take, this person is going to need your patience. It's, only, it's almost like they're going to need you to show them how to love, which isn't really fair to ask anybody, I don't think. But at the same time, if this is your boo, this is your boo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. So Taurus, sun, moon, rising Taurus, your person is almost, when it comes to love, a child. And they're going to need you to, they're not going to need your demonstrated faith in them to help them learn, to help them grow, to help them understand teaching, teaching. That's what this is all about. It's having patience when you're working with this person and you can see it in this card and, and see this little babe. Now I'm almost sure you're dealing with a cancer. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Scorpio Taurus, be very patient. In fact, I would step back this weekend. The reason being Scorpio needs time to decompress. They do. They went through a lot. Okay, they are. It's not that they don't need love. It's that right now what they need to do is just come back into themselves. It's almost like with them, it's almost like David Banner, the Hulk going back into David Banner. They just need a second. That's all. Um, so just so that you know that. Um, but so you see this little babe? how they're wearing a shell, that's screaming Cancerian to me as well. And plus it's under the sea. Going with the flow and the sea is emotions. They need you to teach them how to be okay with emotions. They need your stability. They need your, they need your boundaries. They need you to teach them how to set healthy boundaries because Taurus, you and all earth signs are very good at setting boundaries. Um, you are the boundary experts. And, and, and earth, uh, water signs especially would need your help with this. So this is your person, somebody who is, is hitting, hiding under a shell of defensiveness because they're a scared little child when it comes to emotion. This doesn't mean that they're an immature person. It just means when it comes to love, there was some, 
something about them that was deprived and they don't know how to love right, but they do want to know how to love. See, they're showing you effort and that's, that's the deal. That's where, cause you know me, you know me and you know what I say all the time. You cannot be, you're not responsible for somebody else's happiness. You are not responsible. You are not supposed to be somebody's parent. Oh, hell no, no. But so this is telling me they are trying. They have made some efforts. They want so badly to love. You can feel their love for you and their admiration. They can't take their eyes off of you. They have done enough for you to know that they really do love you and want to be with you, but they really need your guidance to teach them and to coax them out of their shell. Your guidance and your patience. Patience will matter big time here because they need time to trust. Trust is big time for Scorpio. I think it's paramount for Scorpio. And patience and trust is big time for Cancerians as well. Um, they, they're just very defensive signs and their emotions are so vulnerable and volatile that to share them, sometimes they're scared of themselves. So I do feel you're either dealing, I think first, probably my first guess would be this person is a Cancerian. But also, this person could also be a Scorpio. They could very well be actually literally chronologically younger than you and looking up to you as somebody who would teach them to guide them. But I don't feel that. I don't feel that. I honestly feel that they are around the age of 30, 30, 25 to 35, maybe 32. They are a grown person that has been stunted when it comes to at least allowing themselves to love or their confidence in love. So Taurus, it is going to take a lot of patience from your side. And you know what? That's okay. Because you have patience. You really do. They are quite lovely. They're lovely in a subtle way. They're lovely in a, they're lovely in a gentle way. And I think honestly, underneath all the defensiveness, they are a gentle person. And, and that makes all the difference to you. And you can feel their gentleness in other ways. And perhaps outwardly, they are quite nur nurturing to other people, but they have been very deprived of nurturing themselves. And I think all the more, that is what makes you so want to be a part of their lives. That is your person. That is your person. All right, let's get a little bit more information for Taurus's person. November 2nd. Yep. They're confused. They're confused. No. They're confused. They don't know which direction to choose. They need more information. They feel divided. They feel, they feel like they constantly have to make everybody happy and they're being pulled in two separate directions. Probably that means they don't know whether they're coming or going now. They're trying to connect to spirit. They've maybe started off fresh, a new start in life, but no, they still feel trapped. They're trapped in their confusion. And their confusion comes from their lack of confidence, their lack of self-confidence. Yes, these are swords, but I don't feel that this is an air sign. What do I feel? I feel like this is a water sign that's stuck in their head. And it's hard. Like, it would be easy for an air sign to get out of their head, to make sense of their, emo of their, of their thoughts. But I think that when water signs get emotionally crazy, they get mentally crazy too. Their thoughts become jumbled. They don't know which to think and they can't make decisions. And that's what's wrong with your person this week. They, excuse me. Um, and then what comes out? The Ace of Wands. I feel like your person, honestly, honestly, I'm going to say this. They're working on something in their life that means a lot to them, but they don't see a lot of motion. They don't see a lot of movement and they need divine inspiration. I think they've been praying for help. I think they've been praying for divine intervention. Please help, please help, please help. And honestly, that's what, that's what they need. I think they're a very creative person. I think they have a lot of energy. I think they have a lot of good energy, healthy energy, but they're stuck. It's almost like they do too much work. They work all the time. They work very hard. They don't see a lot of motion movement in their life. They feel very drained a lot. This, and that's why they're being so defensive. They just, it's almost like this person, the energy of this person is that they don't really believe in love. They want to believe like, like Mulder. They want to believe, but they, it's almost like two extremes. They either feel like they don't, they're totally empty and they're totally stuck or they're manic depressive almost. They're like manic when they're like all in. I think they have a great deal of sex appeal. Um, that's what it seems. A great deal of sex appeal and a great healthy libido. 
that's been stuck and trapped, they might have gone without sex for quite some time, Taurus. They might have, like, physical touch. They might, because they're so blocked, like they're so barricaded, they might have gone without um, physical touch for a very long time. This is your person. This is who is coming in to you this weekend. And they might, I'm not saying they won't last. Hold on. Remember, your person has thick boundaries. <laughs> And it could have been just sort of, look, they're very depleted. They're, they're very deprived. They've been in isolation for quite some time. I think that they are sex deprived. I really do. Um, I think that you are definitely dealing with a water sign. Like I said, very young, very beautiful, but blind. Blind to their own beauty. They forgot how sexual or sensual they are. They've forgotten a lot about themselves, and I think it's just because they're drained maybe by a lot of different people. <laughs> that is definitely a water sign. Um, and and their, their defensiveness, their own defensiveness has trapped them and made them completely unaware of just how beautiful and lovely they are. I'm going to be blunt with you, Taurus. This person needs you to rescue them, 100%. And I would not say that normally because I think it's our responsibility to rescue ourselves. I, that's You know me. You hear me talking about it all the time. <laughs> um, I know you do. <laughs> um, because I talk about it all the time. It is our responsibility to rescue ourselves. But it's almost like... So I, and I tell you that all the time. I tell you all the time. It is, it is a person's... It is an, it's, a, it's a person's responsibility to make themselves happy. It is not your responsibility to make somebody happy, Taurus. So, but in terms of the quality of the person, I think they're lovely. I do. I think they're tender hearted and I think they would love you like crazy. Romance comes into my, it comes into view. Um, but at the same time, it's like you, I'm, I know, I know. I honestly do believe in this case, Taurus, you need to be the white knight. I'm not, I don't say that often, but I am saying it this time. I think this person is special and worth it and legitimately needs some can help. And it's not, hey, pay my bills kind of help. That's not the kind of help they need. The kind of help they need is, I believe in you. You don't have to ask me to believe in you. I believe in you. And I see you. I'm going to talk to you when nobody else is talking to you. I'm going to give you a chance when nobody else will. Because I believe in you. I think that's what they need to hear from you. That's what they need. So there you go, Taurus. Um... Your weekend romance, your very own personal weekend romance. Um, yeah, so you are not a part of the rest of the weekend romance. And I don't even want to apologize for it because I do believe that this was message was supposed to be separate. I really do. It's not, I'm not trying to avoid apologizing. I really just believe there's something about this that was correct. I just feel it's good. So Taurus, here is your own very personal weekend romance. I hope you have a loved, filled weekend. Bye, guys.